you know what? I am fine with these influencer cash grabs as long as I get to eat when I make a video on it. That's it. That's my intro. Hi, my man, you're watching Swell Entertainment. Today we're reviewing Lorray's Loaded Mac, which is another ghost kitchen pop-up from a YouTuber, influencer, TikToker, musical lyricist. I don't know. He made the song Cancelled, which objectively is kind of funny. Is it cringy? Yes, but it's also kind of hilarious. I really don't have a big intro here, mainly because I'm hungry, but also, Larray is a TikToker. He's in the hype house. I heard about this on Twitter because I follow a bunch of influencer people uh, that cover influencer people, I guess you could say. And they were talking about how the new installment of influencers making businesses uh, is Larray making Loaded Mac. And I'm excited that this is not just another burger place, i.e. Beast Burger and Gay Burger and uh, obviously Jonah from the vlog squad or Nick and Tonian did kebab. Jonas Kebabs. So yeah, now we have Loaded Mac. I have no idea if mac and cheese is like a staple in Larray's content, but I'm excited. Um, I got a couple of options, a couple of deals. This one I would say, I'm surprised it came fairly reasonably. I tried to order through the website itself, wasn't able to, but I was able to order it through Postmates, no problem, to LA here. There's like 25 locations, I think is what they said. Um, there's like two out here in LA. I not close to one of them, but one of them was in like my delivery zone just about noon now, which is perfect because I'm hungry, but also like order this at like 10.45, which I know sounds like a long time, but considering how long they were like, quote unquote, preparing my order and then how long it took to get here, fairly reasonable considering previously I've waited like two hours to get food from these places. So fairly reasonable all around, especially since I wasn't able to order through the website. I was like, oh God, this is not gonna work. This is gonna be bad. So glad I wasn't ripped off. But anyway, Lorraine's Loaded Mac. But first, let me thank the sponsors for this video, Cerebral. Cerebral is a mental health platform that gives you access to medication management, therapy, and care counseling for anxiety, depression, and insomnia, as well as other conditions. All for a flat monthly rate, and it's incredibly affordable whether you have insurance or not. Cerebral is a recurring sponsor on this channel, and I really do love working with them. They've been a great help in me getting a handle on my anxiety. We're probably gonna go into another lockdown based on how it looks like things are going, so Cerebral is here to help you out with their online platform, which is both convenient and private. You can schedule your appointment with your provider, therapist, or care counselor, all from the convenience of your home. Their comprehensive care model is designed for long-term care and they've integrated behavioral and medication therapy because your doctor and your therapist are communicating with each other. Cerebral offers three plan options, medication and care counseling, medication and therapy, and therapy. If you'd like to take the next step on your mental health journey, go ahead and click the link down below. It'll take you to a short questionnaire that'll get you matched up with a care provider and your first month starts at only $30. Thank you again to Cerebral for sponsoring this video. This is still warm. I'm very excited actually. Hermes here's paper ripping. He's all excited. I did one of their bundle deals. Let me pull up my order actually so I can read you guys what I got. So I got the loaded mac combo, which I got the uh, the classic style mac and cheese. I got that girl uh, mac and cheese and I got the LBT mac and cheese and I got a brownie. And also the loaded mac combo also came with a soda. So I got a diet Pepsi. I gave a pretty decent tip because I, I always figure that these orders are nightmares. So um, my total was uh, 70.79. But it's a tax right <laughs> So like I said, Pepsi, not sponsored. I will say this, I do like the marketing on this one the most, um, cause it's like cutesy. And like, it does look like time and planning went into it, but I also feel the same way about um, the Beast Burger one. Not that I would say that any of these have like really not put time into the marketing or anything like that. I just like when it's like, it's just like the extra step, I guess, of like creating whole little characters for your individual mac and cheese. This is the classic, this is really warm. Like I'm <laughs> gonna see how this goes. Oh, look how cute, these bad bitches. Look at, I'm like kind of impressed. That girl, oh my gosh, nice, okay. That one, and then, oh God, now I'm like impressed. Okay, here's my, um, the brownie I got, it's right here. You can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> they sent me three things of utensils because they thought I ordered for three people. That's fun. And then we've got Lorraine's Loaded Mac, the LBT, all that, again. 
These are some cute bitches. I like them. <laughs> should I start with the classic? I should, huh? I love when my videos are just like me getting to eat lunch. Like, very fun that this is my job. Still feel weird eating on camera, but like, this is fun. The classic. I'm ready. I'm like really bummed. I'm gonna be soup. This is like a big portion too. Like, this is like a full on. I mean, I'm excited. Okay, I got a fork. Let's see. This is the classic. Classic. I mean, it's mac and cheese. It's pretty good. I mean, there's definitely a thick layer. I'm not complaining about the thick layer of cheese. I'm one of those people that like, if you're gonna bake it, cause clearly this was baked or stuck in a microwave, who knows? I don't know. In this pan, which is fine. Don't have a problem with that. I just feel like if you're gonna bake it or anything, like you should just do, like, I feel like breadcrumbs should be standard. You know? Do you know that really good Trader Joe's frozen mac and cheese? That's what this tastes like. Like, I'm so excited actually that I get to eat this. <laughs> okay, one done. I'm gonna do that girl next. Let me pull up what's in that girl, hold on. So I got three of the Macs, but there are more. There's the feeling risky, pulled pork, sharp cheddar, white cheddar, white cheddar mac, crispy onions, Fritos and barbecue sauce, the LBT, which is the other one I got, chopped bacon, sharp cheddar, white cheddar mac, arugula and cherry tomatoes, and then the hottie, crispy chicken, white cheddar mac, mozzarella, shredded carrot, ranch and buffalo, that girl, which is the one we're about to do, crispy pepperoni, mozzarella, white cheddar mac, cherry tomatoes, fresh basil and pizza sauce, the club, crispy chicken, bacon, sharp cheddar, white cheddar mac, avocado, arugula, cherry, and then obviously the uh, the classique. So I got that girl, the classique, and the LBT. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, I mean, I would just assume it was like a pasta or something if I wasn't looking for it. Okay, I'm not a fan of how the cherry tomatoes are just like whole, like just don't <laughs> just whole cherry tomatoes, like you couldn't cut them. <laughs> Oh, the pizza sauce does great things for this. Jeez, the cheese that's on top is not like fully cooked down. So I don't know if it was put on just too late. Pepperoni, basil, this one's good. Oh, this is brilliant. Why did I never think to put pizza sauce on macaroni? I'm doing that in the future. I mean, some people might disagree with me, but I do think mac and cheese is like pretty hard to mess up. But I mean, I do like that it's not just like, like these are loaded backs, like there's actually you know, some detail in these, I like it. God, that's good. If anything, I would say more pizza sauce. I don't think they used enough. And uh, also again, cut the tomatoes. What are you even doing? <laughs> like, what's the point? How are you gonna get the flavor out of the tomatoes if you're not gonna cut them? Okay, moving on to the LBT. I'm just speeding through this video, I know. It's gonna be a short video. I mean, there's definitely more color. Again, why are we not cutting tomatoes? Who's doing this? I mean, at least it's not like with the burger places where they didn't put salt on anything, but like, what are we doing? Okay, so arugula. Hmm. Definitely different. The bacon's okay. I don't think it's necessary in this, but I mean, I guess that's the point of it is to be in there. So basically the floating max is that they do the white cheddar mac and then they just kind of put all the extra stuff on top, which I don't think is not as bad. I just think that like sometimes mixing it all together help it be a little more loaded. Like this is literally just looks like regular mac and cheese here. Yeah, of the three, this one has potential, but I mean, it's not like, see, cause of the way the loaded part is added on. Like what I think they do is they probably bulk make the, the white cheddar mac part and then they just add on the toppings based on what, you know, is ordered. So, so yeah, of the three, Definitely my least favorite, the LBT. Just of the way it's prepared, you know? Cause it's not, like there's no mixing. And like, even if I'm trying to like get in some of this, like it's not working out too well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and that's that. Brownie time. I mean, it's a pretty decent sized brownie. Mm. I don't trust any of you, hold on. <laughs> Great brownie, I like it. Um, I just don't like brownies dry. So I mean, as long as they're not dry, it's like pretty hard to mess up a brownie to me. Overall, 
I think this is fun. I think it's fine. I mean, I don't like there's no criticism other than like, I mean, some people can argue that these are hurting the restaurant industry more than they are helping it. Some people can argue that, you know, they're providing extra income for businesses that are, you know, suffering from COVID shutdowns and things like that. I mean, I don't know. It's I, I definitely am not as well versed in the uh, ghost kitchen market as I probably could be especially considering I keep talking about these things, I really should get better at talking about these ghost kitchens. I mean, I like the mac and cheese, but yeah, you could probably make these at home, no problem. But I mean, sometimes you don't wanna make them at home. Sometimes you wanna pay $15 for a goddamn mac and cheese. As far as the pricing goes, I do think you get a good amount of mac for your buck. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't really complain much about the pricing. Also, I'm in LA, everything out here is dummy and expensive. Also in COVID times, everything is more expensive now, which makes no sense to me but whatever, end times. Anyway, that's really gonna be it. I think, yeah, I have nothing else to say. Short video, pretty basic. Do you watch Slurray's stuff? Are you also annoyingly finding Cancel a catchy tune? Do you like mac and cheese? Are you gonna try this out? Have you tried it out? Are there any other ghost kitchens you heard about that I missed? Let me know. Comment down below. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also support me on Patreon, I'll leave this down below. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, that'll be all up here. Don't forget, I have a podcast now, Swell Shenanigans, linked down below, available everywhere that you can find a podcast. Small Entertainment merch, also linked down below. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Yeah, see, it's not loaded unless it's like properly mixed in. Then it's a loaded mac, you know? Cause I feel like this is just like mac and cheese, like build your own mac and cheese with a topping, you know? The That Girl one though, muy bueno. Thank you, Allie, Alan, Brayden, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Destiny, Devin, Dirty One, Dawn, Elliot, Evan, Feckless, Hopeless, Hollow, Jekka, Ray, Joe, John, M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lux, Lisa, Luis, Manga, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew S, Mimo, Love the Red, Michael, Michael, J, Name, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Prolock, Rock, Robert, Ross, Sam, Skylar, Simon, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Wendy, Williams, Zendry.